Hello and welcome to Upstage Music Presents. I am here with Blossom. How are you doing, Blossom? Great, thank you, Louis. Great to have you. Um, we're in your study at the moment, aren't we? Lovely study. Lovely study. We don't even get where we want to go. We are only 16. And my stolen ID doesn't look like me. Even if I make my eyes look big and smoky. I know you're not my boyfriend. You'll never love me. You don't originate from London, but you're in London studying at the Brit School. Um, tell us about how. Um, your kind of musical career changes in London to, compared to Gloucestershire? I think there's just more stuff to do here. I mean, there's a lot of music anywhere, really, if you find it. When you're in London, it's just everywhere all the time. Like, there's always things to do and always things to kind of take part in. It opens up your musical possibilities. It opens up my musical window. As this is a window that we have opened up for you. <laughs> so, Blossom, tell us about your kind of musical influences and what you you grew up listening to and how that's kind of developed um, over the past few years as you've started releasing your own material? Um, well, when I was younger, I listened to a lot of ska music, like The Beat, Specials, Madness, Rude Boy, the sort of bands, because my dad was into that, but then my mum was into, like, Take That. I wouldn't you say Take That of influence. I was going to say, are you a Take That fan? Have you been to see Take That Live? Unfortunately not. It's my live stream. Um... I've just seen. Why is Zoli your best friend and how awesome is she? If you could choose between your cello and falafel wraps, what would you choose for the rest of your life? Yeah, I call it falafel. Falafel. Um, I, I'd say the cello on this one. So, Blossom, you're playing our next upstage gig. Mm -hmm. um, you're opening up with Zola. Um, you looking forward to it? I'm very much looking forward to it, Louis. And what kind of things can we expect from your set? It's going to be new stuff, maybe one cover. Yeah, one cover. No more than one cover. It'll be like new original stuff that I haven't put online or anything. And you've got some stuff online at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I have two originals on SoundCloud, which isn't very many, but they're kind of not produced. They're just kind of me doing it acoustically. We'll pop a link in the description below. Uh, tell us about the Laudetta. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. Tell us a, a bit more about it, if you could. Okay. Um, basically, I set up a website called thelaudetta.com, and it's kind of a website dedicated to celebrating female artists and musicians and bands and stuff, and kind of just women that are underrepresented in the music industry, because I think kind of women are underrepresented if they don't fit a mould that's set. How did you kind of come up with that idea? Something must have triggered it. Could you just tell us about how that was kind of triggered? I mean, I've always thought it, but I think going to Brit kind of just opened my eyes to how many good artists there are and how many that you, ca you kind of just see the same thing over and over again with music, like commercial music sometimes. And I'm not, I'm not knocking that. I just think there's other things that can be heard and hopefully I will provide a platform. And are you, are you looking to grow? Is it something you want to do full time or is it just a... Yeah, I really enjoy writing like reviews and interviewing people and stuff like you, I guess. So thank you very much, Blossom. Um, be sure to check her out at the next Upstage gig. All the info will be available very soon. Um, and peace out. music did you listen to when you were growing up um like quite a lot of reggae and motown um i've been told you've got dreadlocks is that right um yeah sometimes when i don't brush my hair <laughs>